As we wind down to the end of 2020, it looks like 2020 will be the first year that Tesla was net profitable throughout the entire year. After 17 years of trial, error, and refinement, Elon Musk and his team have finally gotten Tesla to be consistently profitable. So, how much do they make from their cheap and expensive cars anyways? Well, starting off, for this estimate, we'll be using the numbers under Q3 2020 earnings report. Tesla is rapidly increasing manufacturing efficiency and consequently their margins. So, if you're watching this video well into the future, their numbers are likely just looking even better. With that being said, let's dive into their current numbers starting with their gross automotive revenues. Last quarter, Tesla pulled in $7.611 billion in gross revenue, out of which $2.105 billion was gross profit. However, this does include revenue from regulatory credits, which is basically just 100% profit. So, in order to find the gross profit margin of their actual cars, we would have to subtract the revenue from regulatory credits from both their gross revenue and their gross profit. Doing this would reduce their gross revenue to $7.214 billion and their gross profit to $1.708 billion. At the same time, their gross margin would also drop from 27.7% to 23.68%. Now, there are a few more variables that can skew this number, with the first one that comes to mind being revenue from full self-driving. Tesla's revenue from full self-driving is not listed under automotive revenue, but even if it was, it wouldn't make that big of a difference. Though Tesla's full self-driving is quite expensive today coming in at 10 grand, Tesla can only realize a small portion of this revenue every single quarter. You see, self-driving technology is still in the development stage, and as a result, people who buy self-driving today will continue to receive updates for years into the future. Thus, it doesn't make sense to realize all of the revenue from full self-driving right when it comes in. Instead, Tesla slowly realizes the revenue over several years as they continue making progress towards full autonomy. For instance, let's say they push out an update in Q1 of 2021 that makes handling roundabouts a breeze. If roundabouts account for about 2% of the total scenarios a car faces, Tesla would recognize 2% of their total FSD revenue. And, as you would guess, when they're just nibbling at the total FSD revenue every quarter, this doesn't come out to a very big amount. For instance, Tesla CFO Zachary Kirkhorn revealed in Q2 of 2020 that Tesla recognized $48 million from FSD revenues that quarter. In comparison to their gross automotive revenue, this figure is only 0.66%. So, really shouldn't affect our math too much even if this revenue was listed under automotive revenue. Aside from this, another piece that could skew our math is revenue from leasing. But, this revenue is separated out later in the financial report allowing us to just focus on automotive sales. Comparing automotive sales revenue and the cost of automotive sales after removing the proportional regulatory credit revenue, we'll find that automotive sales revenue is $6.963 billion and the cost of these sales is $5.361 billion. In other words, after accounting for leasing revenue and profit, Tesla's estimated gross profit margin for car sales drops from 23.68% to 23.007%. So, from each car, Tesla profits an average 23% of the price of the car itself. Last quarter, 88.28% of the cars Tesla delivered were Model 3s and Ys. Thus, this margin should be pretty close to the margin of these two models. Though, this number is likely slightly skewed upwards by their high margin vehicle sales. To keep things simple though, we'll just say that Model 3s and Ys are roughly 20% and that Model Ss and Xs are about 30%. With that being said, the base level Model 3 has an MSRP of $37,990. 20% of that is $7,598, meaning that it cost Tesla $30,392 to make a Model 3. But that's just the cost of materials and labor that directly go into assembling the car. It doesn't include the cost of developing the car or selling the car, which go under operating expenses. In Q3, Tesla reported research and development as costing $366 million. If we assume that this cost was spread proportionally in relation to their revenue sources, approximately $306 million of that expense can be attributed to automotive sales, or about 4.39% of the automotive sales revenue. Similarly, Tesla reported selling, general, and administrative expenses to be $888 million. Doing the same math, about $743 million of that cost can be attributed to automotive sales, 
or about 10.6% of their automotive sales revenue. In relation to the cost of the Model 3, about $1,668 of the selling price goes towards research and development. Additionally, $4,027 goes towards various administrative tasks. If we add all of these up, we get a total of $36,087, meaning that Tesla's operating profit from each Model 3 is about $1,903, or exactly 5.009% of the car selling price. We can confirm this by looking at Tesla's operating margin. Tesla lists their operating margin to be 9.2%, but if we remove regulatory credits, the number drops to 4.92%, or right about what we calculated. So, if Tesla decided to stop growing and just run a profitable automotive business at their current scale, $1,903 is how much they would make at the end of the day from each Model 3 sold. However, Tesla isn't doing that. They're actually building gigafactories around the world. In fact, Tesla spent $1.005 billion in capital expenditures just last quarter. Again, if that is proportional to their revenue streams, roughly $841 million can be accounted for by automotive sales, which is 12.09% of their automotive sales revenue. This means that for each Model 3 they sell, Tesla is spending $4,593 to build factories and expand their business. And if you haven't noticed yet, this indicates that Tesla spends more money than they get. For every base level Model 3 they sell, they spend $40,680. Now, the regulatory credits do make up for that discrepancy, thus making Tesla profitable. But that's the raw breakdown of where exactly your money is going. And now that we've figured out the margins, we can apply the same math to Tesla's other cars as well. Taking a look at the Model Y, the MSRP is $49,990, or basically 50 k At a 20% gross profit margin, it costs Tesla $40,000 to make the Model Y, and their gross profit from the vehicle is ten dollars R&D comes in at $2,195, and administrative expenses come out to $5,300, leaving Tesla with an operating profit of $2,505. If we add the cost of building factories, however, Tesla's total cost rises to $53,540, leaving them in the red once again. Moving up to the Model S, the MSRP of the base model is $69,420. We previously estimated that the gross profit margins of the S and X are likely higher than Tesla's overall gross profit margin. So, for the Model S, we'll use the higher gross profit margin of 30%. This would mean that it costs Tesla $48,594 to produce a Model S, and thus, their gross profit margin is $20,826. Aside from this, R&D will take up $3,048, and administrative expenses will take up $7,359. Adding those up, we get a total of $59,001, leaving Tesla with an operating profit of a solid $10,419, or an operating margin of 15%. Finally, adding on the weight of capital investments, we get another $8,393, pushing up the total cost of the Model S to $67,393, meaning that Tesla is actually net profitable with the Model S. Now, one thing we should note is that scaling up R&D, administrative expenses, and capital investments doesn't exactly make sense. All Tesla models use the same core self-driving technology, so really, R&D costs should be evenly split amongst the cars. Similarly, administrative costs of selling a more expensive model aren't going to really be more expensive than a cheaper model. So, administrative costs should be evenly split as well. And, as for building factories, most of the manufacturing might will go towards producing the Model 3 and Y. So really, capital investments should actually have a larger weight on the cheaper cars, meaning that the Model 3 and Y are even more in the red, and that the Model S and X are even more in the green. However, Tesla wouldn't be investing so heavily into factories, and the Model 3 and Y would likely be priced quite a bit higher if it weren't for the Model S and X. In other words, the Model S and X are making up for losses with the Model 3 and Y. So, it only makes sense that our calculations reflect this reality. With that being said, let's take a quick look at their final mainstream model, the Model X. The Model X retails for $80,000, and with a gross profit margin of 30%, the Model X costs Tesla $56,000 to produce, and they enjoy a gross profit of $24,000. $3,512 goes towards R&D, and $8,480 goes towards admin, inflating Tesla's cost to $67,992. This leaves Tesla with a sizable $12,008 in operating profit, 
or an operating margin of 15%. Finally, adding in capital expenditures, that gives us another $9,672, propelling the total cost for Tesla to $77,664. This leaves Tesla with $2,336 in net profit, or a net profit margin of 2.92%. And that's how much each of Tesla's main models actually cost Tesla. Do you guys think these numbers make sense? Comment that down below. Also, drop a like if you guys are excited that Tesla is finally proving consistent profitability. And of course, consider joining our Discord community to suggest future video ideas, and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.